guys, I had a viewer question come in from CW Whip about uh, removing the SIG 556 quad rail off of the SWAT. Uh, he's having a lot of trouble with his. I, as I told him, mine comes off easily. Um, once you actually get it to uh, come off the first time, after that, it, it's uh, it's really easy to get off. So if, if you can't get it off with just hand pressure, you might need to get a rubber mallet or something and, and just tap on it. So. Oh, obviously, I've field stripped the gun um, and broken it down into two pieces. It's not completely necessary to, to field strip it, just break it into two pieces, the upper and the lower. I field stripped it just to get it all out of the way uh, so there's no confusion. So, this is a two piece quad rail. The top locks in here in each of these spots with the lugs. So, see, it's locked in there. It only has a little bit of movement because there's no lower. There's no lower on it right now. Normally it locks up completely solidly. So what you want to do is you want to grab the rear and slide it. Slide it from the front towards the rear of the receiver. And it, you'll see that it, it moves here. So it's moved out. And mine just, I just slide it down and they pop off into two pieces. So if you take a, a look here. There's a rail on the inside, an edge, where these locking lugs slide in there. So basically you need to slide the, the rear of it to the back um, to line it up so you can remove the top here. Mine just comes off like that um, easily because I've, I've taken it off you know, a ton of times uh, to clean the barrel down and the, uh, the gas tube here on the outside. But yeah, you might have to uh, might have to take a rubber mallet to it. Um, mine was extremely tight as well when I first got it, and it took a took a bit of force to get it off. I just I tapped on mine with a rubber mallet to uh, to get this to uh, slide back. Once it unseats, like I said the first time, you won't have you won't have any problems with it. Obviously, to put it back on, you just do it in reverse. Just. The directions show that you, if you look at the actual proper directions, it shows that you lay in the top rail first. It's kind of hard to do on camera here, but you lay in the top rail first and make sure that's seated forward. You can see that that's where your uh, the lower receiver, the pin goes, that uh, hooks together the upper and the lower. So that has a spot there, so you just slide. You slide the uh, lower handguard on, and then you line it up. You line the two pieces up together, lock them together, and then slide it forward, and then it's back on again. Once you put back in the uh, the pin, it, it locks it back into, into place. But yeah, like I said, I'm I can't really be of too much help because my mine goes together really easily. But the main idea is to get the, the lower to slide back like that, the lower handguard. Once once that slides back, it gives you enough room to uh, free the uh, barrel shroud there at the top. pretty much it. Like I said, to put it back together you just realign the two together again. But yeah, mine, mine goes to, comes off pretty easy. I mean, I've done it, like I said, so many times that, that uh, I don't have any problems with it. But you might take a rubber mallet, like I said, maybe just tap, you know. Tap here, or maybe on the, uh, the, uh, the lug here to lock the uh, collapsible stock if you have one of those. But just tap, tap, tap on it real, you know, give it a few good whacks with a rubber mallet so you don't screw up the finish on the rail. But, yeah, the, the main idea is to get this to slide back. So, I uh, I hope that helps a little bit. Pretty much you're just going to have to use a little bit of brute force on it, I guess. Uh, there's, a, there's a common joke about making your sacrifice to the rail gods where a lot of people, um, if you don't have the covers on it and you're trying to get it off the first time that they 
will tear uh, tear their hand by slipping it on the uh, the rail. So I suggest just getting a little rubber mallet, man. Um, I hope that helps. Like I said, mine comes off easy, so I I wish I had another uh, a new Sig 556 here. So if anybody wants to donate one to me, I'm, I'm just playing around. But uh, but yeah, that's about it. So uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Like I said, the main idea is to get the, the, the rear, uh, the bottom piece to slide back. And once that does, you can separate the uh, the two rails here. So that's about it. Later.